In this video I will give you a list of 10 best foods to introduce to your baby first when they're about four to six months old when they are ready to start solids if you're new here my name is Karina I have two kids they're both are great intuitive and healthy eaters I'm very passionate about feeding babies and here on my channel I've shared lots and lots of tips but this is the list you can come back to and so oftentimes pediatricians would suggest you start with a rice cereal but I personally believe it's one of the worst things you can start solids with because it has zero nutrition it might be high on heavy metals so i think starting with vegetables is the best not even with fruits because my opinion but i really think that giving them really sweet flavors like bananas even apples is just not very necessary you will have plenty of opportunities to introduce them i personally started one of my kids on butternut squash so this is number one on my list it was in season when he started solids it's a very nutrient dense food and it's pretty flavorful it's a little sweet right because their taste buds are so pure and clean they can feel the taste of the plain vegetable so much more than we can and so that's another note here i believe into not adding any spices salt especially in the very beginning at least for the first couple of months because it's just not necessary let them enjoy the real taste of food and i've started my kids on purees then we kind of did a baby led winning mix with purees but you can do both with butternut squash another great vegetable to introduce to your baby first are sweet potatoes they are also very nutrient dense they are in season almost whole year it's so easy to cook to make a puree or just mash it with a fork right and same goes for baby led weaning when you can cut it up in a little strips they can hold certainly a great idea to add to a puree your breast milk or formula so that it gives them a more familiar taste and if we're talking about breast milk especially it helps with digesting this food with my first i started actually with broccoli and i think broccoli is the best cabbage family vegetable because for example cauliflower mostly gets people really gassy and you really don't want that for your baby so broccoli are not very flavorful which is also a good thing but you can add your breast milk or formula to it to make it a little more familiar and tastier for that matter so broccoli are number three on my list and there is no particular order to this you can start your baby on any of these products whenever they're ready but of course discuss this with your pediatrician first let's move on to what i think about introducing allergens and i totally agree with what research told us not so long ago the earlier you introduce allergens the less chance your child will have an allergy to those foods and i think that one of the best products to give to your baby as a first food is also a plain whole milk yogurt especially if you breastfeed and don't eat dairy that would be a great thing to introduce first it's also great for teaching them to eat with a spoon because yes it's gonna be a lot of mess but the texture allows them to dip the spoon in you don't really have to scoop anything and get some of that food inside and feed themselves because i'm also a bit advocate about giving the spoon even before your child gets any food in their mouth I have a whole separate video about that i'll link a lot of good videos about solids and introducing them and all the mistakes parents make down below check it out after this video is done and let's move on to a next allergen food that you should be giving to your baby as soon as possible eggs they say that uh, there is a bigger chance that egg white can cause some kind of allergic reactions so where i'm from in ukraine they say that it's better to introduce egg yolk first but here in america uh, they actually tell you to do a scramble egg for yourself and your baby like whenever they're ready it could be their first food you just definitely have to watch for a reaction especially with those big allergens like dairy and eggs don't introduce any new foods for at least at least three days and watch your baby's reaction if there is any rashes I definitely call your doctor but i did introduce yolk first i would do a hard-boiled egg separate the yolk and the white mash the yolk with a fork add breast milk or formula and give it to them as a pure textured food you could also try to scramble just an egg yolk i did that with my first that didn't turn out so great so you can choose yourself here what to do but eggs are definitely very nutrient dense 
healthy food and also an allergen you should be introducing early on. Let's go back a little to vegetables. I have two more veggies on my list, beets and carrots. It's not very common to eat beets here in the US, but in Ukraine, beets is like one of the most popular ingredients because Ukrainian borscht is made with beets. And they're very healthy, they are pretty sweet and definitely very fun because uh, the color is different, uh, it actually leaves pink stains on their face and hands. But hey, it's something different to try and the most important thing, it's healthy, it's cheap and another option to give to your baby because I remember very much when there is time to introduce something else, I run out of ideas and this is a video for you to come back to to get some ideas of what to give to your baby next and carrots obviously a healthy quite traditional option to give to your baby and just a reminder of course they have to be fully cooked either you're doing a puree or baby led weaning they're also on the sweet side but again nothing like a banana Oh, and one more, of course, there is an avocado. Avocados are just extremely healthy and they are fatty. So far, there was just a yogurt that I told you about that has fat. Make sure you get a whole milk yogurt, obviously, and plain. Like I said, just making sure you heard that part. We don't need any sugar in baby's diet and whole fat, like in yogurt, same in avocado, but you know, they come from different sources, but yet your baby's brain needs fat. Animal fat? like from yogurt, let's say, and also from fruits, vegetables. I think avocado is a fruit. Anyways, avocado is a great one to try. Maybe you consider trying it as a first or second food because it has very little flavor, but it's smooshy. It's also nice to grab it. You could potentially add a tiny bit of salt to a food like an avocado, like a food that has very little flavor, but very nutrient dense and healthy. I was told by a pediatrician that there is a new study uh, that shows that actually babies do lack nutrients that they get from salt. So I've introduced a little bit of salt a little later on to bring up flavor of some foods. Let's say oatmeal is next on my list. I just said in the beginning of the video that rice cereal is the worst thing you can start solids with, but oatmeal actually a very good option. It's certainly tastier if you add breast milk or formula to it and I would add a tiny tiny bit of salt to bring up that flavor same thing with avocado I would advise to stay away from introducing quinoa in the even maybe in the first year of life because I introduced quinoa to both of my kids when they were maybe like nine months old and both of them had a little bit of a constipation problem after it I'm not sure what I did wrong I tried to make it really thin, you know, with lots of water or breast milk, but nevertheless, they still did have some stool problems after it. So certainly stick with oatmeal. There are definitely other options for like cereals, like barley, maybe even millet, buckwheat. Those are healthy whole grains that you can make into a cereal. I have a video how to make your own baby cereal. I will link down below. It's so easy. I also have lots of unpopular opinions on store-bought baby foods. Once again, we'll have lots of videos about that. And here I want to mention another thing you can either buy at the store or do yourself. Hummus. Hummus is also a great first food. One of the first foods, let's say. There are some good quality hummus out there in the store, but you really need to look for one. You can just buy chickpeas and make them into puree, add some olive oil, because olive oil is also a great way to introduce, you know, some healthy fats. You could also use ghee butter or even regular butter after you introduce dairy in your oatmeal and you could use olive oil in hummus. A very nutrient dense and protein rich food. It's not something very typical to give to your babies but it's definitely a great way to introduce them to more flavors and give them nutrient dense foods and just remember that in the first year of life you're just introducing them give them a big palette of flavors give them a spoon don't forget that one and if you have any questions about certain solids or maybe you already ran into some problem i offer coaching sessions with me one-on-one -on -one about solids so leave your email in the comments if you would like one and i'll shoot you back an email with all the details leave me a comment give this video a like, subscribe, and I will see you in this one.